Hi everyone, welcome to Fondusac on a Sunday. There's a bus, it's gonna hit us. <laughs> oh wow, I closed our intro. Anyway, pretty much the rest of Mauritius is sleeping on a Sunday. Fondusac is complete chaos. I and mean, they're just all over the street. I mean, everywhere you look. I think there is a proper market area in there. We'll go have a look in a minute. But right now, it is just complete chaos. Have a look at the floor. They're carrots and they're just people and the sidewalk is not large enough and there are two lanes of cars and everyone's parked on the side of the road, including us. So I get some ambient fish chopping. Uh -huh. You can get anything on the streets of Pontusac on a Sunday. This is a pedestrian crossing and I think they actually work because we made it and there's so much traffic. Chilies and tomatoes, green peppers. You do get a lot of homegrown stuff here, but there's also some weird things that I've never seen before. I'm gonna go show you one. These sort of look like chilies, but they're huge. They definitely love peppers, or maybe they are. But have a look at this. <laughs> Jackfruit. Yeah. Fresh vegetable. Fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh. What is this? Uh, uh, chili. Turkish pepper. Ah. Should I say again? Turkish pepper. Turkish pepper. Yeah. These are, are they hot? Hot? A little. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Okay, Sweet. fresh. Yeah. So Turkish peppers. I don't it's think I've ever salad, seen salad. these for salad. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, we have to get some. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapples and cabbages. Let's, hey. oh. <laughs> I'll let Ricky go. Eight o'clock in the morning, it seems like a lot of the vegetable people have closed. Wow. Have a look. This is where the actual market is. And well, it's almost empty. And it's eight o'clock in the morning. Let's go see what's left. The citron? Uh, citron and uh, lime. So we got some limes. Five rupees a piece and the big How one's ten. Citron? Very nice. Awesome. Very nice. 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 Very I can't imagine what the chaos must have been about an hour ago when there were all stands here. What I genuinely can't believe is the whole of Grand Bay was partying last night. There was music all night long. No one was up when we got up this morning. And we actually got here at 8 o'clock and we late. Can you imagine? Fond de sac. The early risers. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find something to eat. This shop here is supposed to do tea. I don't know, we'll have to go check. One pound fifty rupees. One one pound. One pound fifty rupees. Special so good. A pound. <laughs> Half pound. Half pound. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We've got something new to try. Something new to try, exactly. We're going to have to see how hot they are. Uh, thank you so much. Got myself some water crest. Crest on. I don't know how you put it in. In your backpack. In my backpack. Okay. I'll help you. Voila, latte bread. Carotte latte bread.
And you got some breads and baked goods. And bread. I suppose standard Sunday morning stuff, get your bread and your newspaper. Traffic jams. Unusual cause. Bicycle. Eggplant, <laughs> aubergine. <laughs> but look at his battery, it actually has stuff in it. Wow. So he's actually got curbs inside there. And he's. Oh, he's giving her some, some to try. Which are these? They're the little. Oh, the little. Oh, the little good ones. Thank you. But have a look at them go. Yeah. Oh man, he just pokes them and they turn over when they're ready. Uh-huh, well behaved. Ricky gets to try some. <clears throat> gets to try some, they're really hot though. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> is it is it a bhaji mm. made from the dough? Mm. With the herbs in it? Yeah. It's like um chanapuri but Okay. Mm. Good. Aubergine one's ready and golden. Wow. Oh man. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. But they have a nice flavour in there. They do, because of whatever they're putting in that in the batter. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh. How come the ghetto pimol? Fresh ghetto pimol. Oh. And in they go. Brian has a problem now, he's got no chin, no hands. I, I couldn't help myself, I had to get the aubergine. Oh. I had to, I had to, I watched them and they're so beautiful looking. They're going to be so hot because they, they just came out the oil. They really are. Oh. Not sure if I'm getting any. It's a little bit high up here. I think they do that on purpose. They don't take too much. <laughs> but I put it on on the egg bar. I'm just dying to try, and it's so hot. I'm gonna die. I know. It. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! I just can see the mm. steam coming out of it. Oh, it was hot, but wow, mm. delicious. So oh, nice. It's so fresh. Mm. Oh, how about it's melting in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite like eating fresh, hot, made in front of you street food on the street. I miss the dog just strolling into the shop. Let's just go in and have a look. Turn style. Oh, it's like it's an exotic shop, and it is. There's a lot of beer. Von de Sack has beer. You can get a temporary tattoo kit. I think it must be like the henna tattoos, but yeah, faking it. But there's just so much stuff all around. It really is. One of those interesting, interesting places. But this is what I find most fascinating. You don't put your prices up. They're just on the wall next to it.
<laughs> it's like dark alleyways in the supermarket. Oh, I found where the dog went. Into the back. <laughs> What are you eating there, puppy? Naughty little dog. You got a mouthful of flour now. <laughs> because of the turnstile, you can't actually get out without going through the checkout. <laughs> Gotta go, we should probably buy something. This is the wall where all the pricing is. I just love the turnstile. Ooh, bananas and watermelons. Brian's gonna find out. Oh, and a, a, a So there you go, these gorgeous watermelons, 100 rupees, and you can get it in a half, 50. Great for your breakfast. Fondersack Village Hall, and a really beautiful garden. Across the way, you've got the massive SBM bank. Did you see the village hall? Yeah, and Club 29, a restaurant which obviously opens later. These must be great Dolpuris, everyone is queuing up for them. It's a really big mango tree and it's got massive, massive mangoes. I don't think I've ever seen such a big mango. It's huge. Yeah. Look at that, it's the size of my foot. Bondusak means bottom of the bag. I'm not sure why they named it that, but they did. Ricky got stuck across the road. <laughs> They're gonna run over my bicycle. <laughs> Clothes and shoes on the side of the road. It is market day after all. But the market does continue, so there are some more things here. We are walking down the road a little bit. It just seems like that part is shutting down, but this area all around here is starting to open up a bit. Like the clothing, so vegetables got... are going away. And the clothing market is now opening. <laughs> nice one, Rick. Oh wow, have a look down here. It's a proper full-size football field. I ain't genuinely a proper football field. No one's playing at the moment because it's Sunday morning. Who would go out and play football on a Sunday morning? The grass is really green and it's actual real grass. Actual petrol station at Fondusa. Hello. Hi. Hello. Something looks popular up ahead. This is Upsara magazine in Fondusa. And it's a small shop, as he explained, because it's a small village. But he sells a variety of things, dresses, fabrics, Household appliances, TVs, you name it, whatever Fondusac needs, you've got this magazine store to cater to it. Awesome, love it. I might be wondering why there is such a long queue here. Well, let's go find out. At the end of the line. Oh, wow. They just come and they chop it up for you. This is the 2nd of January, and this is when you eat sheep. So they have a whole sheep, but he's also going to cut pieces up. I would just cook that whole thing. <laughs> or maybe rotisserie that one. Oh yes. Soundtrack for this. Yeah. Everyone's phoning to ask, oh, please, can you save me a piece? Oh, man. How much is it? Take me a 
250. 250. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. Thank you so much. So quick. <laughs> oh man, these guys must make loads of these. Wow, that's incredible. I could watch this all day. It's like mesmerizing. It's hypnotic. Wow. And check this, he's got a... Here comes the side. Oh man, he's got to make loads of these. Look how thin that turns out. Oh, and straight onto the hot... Wow. Oh man, and look how they puff. All those look beautiful. Well, it's full and went on hold. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you know Indian what what we call it? What you call that? We call it chapati. Chapati, chapati not not paratha. Ah, chapati. chapati. Okay. <laughs> Five years you're here. You can put a little bit of chili. Just a little bit. I'm getting better. Oh, look at that. Classic paratha straight off the grill. Oh, mouth watering. <laughs> Thank you. So one as well? Cool. I've also got chili on mine. Have you? Yeah, I'm being brave. Oh, flaky, gorgeous. Oh, wow. It's because she bashes it. Mm. Oh no, those feel so soft and really thin because it comes out of that machine. Show you in the oh, oh. It's at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you better get to it quickly. That's all the chili coming out. Mm. Fresh and hot. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. Chili. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a little bit of fire in there. I like a good big paratha. Chapati. Mm -hmm. We're calling them chapatis. <laughs> Have a look at this. It just arrived. Ricky also has one, so she's going to let us know what it is. It's a ludo, and it's got these. They're without flavor. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what they called. We saw them at Goodlands once. We called it without flavor. <laughs> oh, it's strings. It's fun. It's really nice. It's super refreshing. But I gotta say, these paratha, the filling is so um, like juicy. I know it's gonna sound strange, but it's almost like a bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a bolognese? You'll see. It's tomatoey and. Mm, it feels meaty, but it's veg. Really, really, I mean, look at it. Yeah. It's really good. It really is one of the nicest, one of the nicest ones I've ever had. I'm going for it. You see what I mean? Tasty. Oh, I see what you mean about polonaise. Yeah, it's like really tomato and that's the only way I can describe it. Top, top. Burrata. Mm. I know this is something you normally say at a high-end restaurant. But the complexity is of the flavor in that. I, know, I agree. It really just stacked so much flavor into it. They really did. It has a depth of flavor. And I know that sounds weird from a street food. No, I agree. 
the, the, the flavor that they've called in and the filling is slightly more smooth. Roti Babu Lao. That's the place. That's it. Right here in Fondue Sack. Uh -huh. We tried to pay. Then yeah. it was food. There's a shrine here right next door to uh, where we got those great chapatis. And then we've got two two guys. I'm not sure who they are. The best bit is right here above them. They're protecting their mangoes from the bats. <laughs> Only a few of them. Okay, so there's the main market that seems to open and close very early. But you do have these other veggie stands and the rest are fond de sac. So if you missed a little bit, you still can get your veggies. Parking is quite a problem in fond de sac. This seems to be a parking area, but I think it was really, really completely packed when we came through. So you sort of just have to park on the street. And there's lots of places that say no parking. <laughs> I assure you this morning, there were cars parked all along here. That's why Susie's so far up ahead. But now they seem to have all gone home. Right, so here's Mauritius, and ignore Ricky, she doesn't have internet. <laughs> there is Fontusac. So, Trile, Grande, and the highway. <laughs> Fontusac. Oh wow, Fontusac. Definitely worth getting up early on a Sunday for. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.